All right, tell them what we're doing. This is How to Play Football Part 2. In this episode, Logan's going to ask me a few questions about football. Some things that people don't know always. Logan, what do you think the fans need to know? Um, what is a second down? Well, in football, you have four downs to get a first down. After first down, if you still haven't got the first down yet, if you didn't get 10 yards, then it's second down. So say on first down, you ran the play, you got four yards. Well, you still got six yards to go to get a first down, right? Yeah. So then it would be second down and sixth. What else you got? What do all these players and numbers mean? Well, nowadays it's a little bit different. Numbers are kind of all over the place, but it used to always be numbers like 1 to 17, 18, 19, usually be a quarterback. In the 20s... Oh, and I heard that Kyler Murray is number 1 today, and he's a quarterback. He is, correct. And then the numbers in the 20s, usually those would be running backs. Sometimes your running backs could have numbers in the 30s. So in the in the 30s also, you usually have a lot of defensive backs. Some in the 20s as well. Cornerbacks maybe in the 20s. Safeties a lot of times in the 30s. And then 40s, it usually be players like fullbacks, maybe some linebackers. 50s, a lot of linebackers, stuff like that. 60s, usually those are going to be the offensive linemen. Some in the 70s, but a lot in the 60s. Tackles maybe be in the 70s. And then usually... What are tackles? Well, in the offensive People line... Like tackle? No, actually not. In the offensive line, Logan, you have some players that are called guards. They're more on the inside. And some players who are called tackles, they're more on the outside protecting the quarterback. And then a lot of times, too, um, you start getting into the 80s. Those are going to be your wide receivers. 90s, a lot of times that's your lead defensive line. I thought, some, I thought Devontae Adams was a wide receiver, and he's number 17. You're right, Logan. That's because nowadays they're just changing that a lot. But in the history of football... What are the 90s? 90s, a lot of those players are going to be like your defensive linemen. Oh, now, What other questions do you have, Logan? Now, I heard that Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers are both the same number. What did it mean when they're both the same number? Well, they play on different teams, so it's okay if you're on a different team. Every team has numbers, so... Do Tom they Brady's... all have the same numbers? Like, does every team have 64? Every team has no. 34? No. Nope. They're different. But on the Packers, Aaron Rodgers, he chose to be number 12. Buccaneers, Tom Brady, he's chose to be number 12. I heard Tom Brady's one has has won almost eight Super Bowls. Yes, Tom Brady, most people think, is the greatest of all time. The GOAT. The best quarterback to ever play the game. Oh, my goodness. Right. Aaron Rodgers, I think, is more skilled, but he's only won one Super Bowl, so it's hard to say he's better. I even have a Packers shirt. You do? Yeah. Who, who's your jersey? Uh, I I heard that my mom has a big Packer jersey, but it's a little too big for me now. Do you think you'll wear it someday? Yeah. Yeah, very cool. What else do you want to know about about football? Is there ever any football games on Christmas or Valentine's Day or Halloween or any holiday? I'm not sure, Logan. On Thanksgiving, though, it is a tradition. Always on Thanksgiving, there's some football games. The Detroit Lions always play a game, and the Dallas Cowboys also always play a game. Hmm. I heard that the Bears and Lions played, and the Bears won 16-14 to at the last second. Wow, that's quite the game. And I heard that there was a 7 o'clock, four-hour game with the Raiders and the Cowboys going going from 3.30 to 7.25 to 7 or something, and then Raiders winning in overtime. You don't say. That's pretty cool. Yeah. What else and, do you want to know? And I also got, and I also heard the Bills made a big, big win. 31-6 to six against the New Orleans Saints. That is a big win. Were they in Buffalo? I, I don't know, Logan. What else do you want to know about football that your fans you think need to know? Uh, Otherwise, we'll wrap this episode up. Why is there bye weeks? 
Well, because sometimes you need players just to have a little bit of a break. So the NFL gives every team one bye week during the season to rest up. I, and I also heard that football has been around since the 1920s. It's been a game that's been around for a long time, before they even had face masks. What? Well, what do you think, Logan? Do we need to tell your fans to stay tuned for football part three? Hmm. I have one more question. Okay, let's hear it. How injured would football players get with nothing on, not even helmets or jerseys or... Well, actually, some people think it would be safer because you wouldn't tackle as hard and you wouldn't have a helmet hitting you in places. Yeah, but I thought all that gear protects you. It does a little bit. Well, Logan, I gotta go shovel, so we should probably tell the fans we'll see them on NFL Football Part 3. Okay. Tell your fans bye. Bye, fans! See you next episode!